guess what time it is? We got another Universal Yum Box. So remember I have the smallest Yum Box. It's $15 a month. And then there's two sizes up from that, but this is just right. So I haven't opened it yet. Here's the hint. The Land of Smiles. There have been some hits on Facebook, but I wouldn't have guessed it based on this. So let's check out the box. Welcome to Thailand! Woohoo! I'm actually really excited. After the UK box, I wasn't sure what we were gonna get. So here's our Thailand scorecard. We have eight items in this box just like last month. And we have um, some things that didn't make it and um, the ability to vote on where we want the next box. So August of 2020, what do we want to see next? So let's check that out later. Let's check out what's in our box. So our first thing, wow, this thing is packed. And there's no English on it. Uh, the back says fried sweet potato chips coated with butter, caramel, sweet and spicy flavors. Okay, so here's your first look. Next is a similar package. The back says salty lemon potato chips. That'll be interesting. Ooh, this, this will be a little interesting too. Fried shrimp with salad cream flavor. I don't know about that. What do you guys think? Have you ever had anything that was like a shrimp snack? Nope. We'll see though. It might be surprisingly good. We'll see. So this is sticky rice with coconut cream and mango. Actually, this looks pretty good. I had a friend who made biko, which is a Filipino rice dessert, and it was delicious. Don't ask my friends about that story. So that should be good. Next is... Mm -hmm. Salty lime gummy candy. So that's interesting to look. They're in like strips. Hmm. I'm curious. I like gummy stuff. And we have the official yum bag. The last bag we had, well, it was a clear bag, but it had candies in it. So we'll check out what the candies are a little bit later. And then we have the last thing, and these are Thai coconut rolls with natural banana. Those look interesting. They almost sound like they're a type of like a phyllo dough that's been baked and then hardened. So we'll see, I'm excited. Thailand, here we come. So I looked in the booklet they gave us to check out more about these snacks and I found our hard candies. So this is a pineapple hard candy. This is heartbeat pineapple with a salt center. I don't think I've ever had a candy quite like that. And these green ones, as you can kind of see, there's a banana on it, or a bunch of bananas. These are orchard banana chews, or steamed banana chews. So if you watched the last video, there was a banana chew in there. And while I like banana, and I like chewy things, it almost took my front teeth out. <laughs> Until it was a little like warmed up. So um, I'm excited for these, because these are much, much smaller. And I do, I am a fan of bananas, so I'm excited. Hey guys, we're in. Thailand! I am excited for this box. Really, 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 really excited. It, it's just exciting to get the box, but to try it, it takes it to a whole new level. So, we have eight things in this box, and I'm excited to try them all. I'm by myself tonight, so you only get my commentary. Sorry! Alright, first up is sweet potato crisps. Um, they look like they're kind of glazed, so I'm, I'm very curious. See that little shiny spot on top? They're pretty good. Sweet potato smell, but not a ton of sweet potato flavor. Good though. Next, we're going to try some sweet and sour chips. The back of this says salty lemon potato chips. These are little bags, really little bags. Um, but the potato chips look like our size, even though you only get 10. Smell pretty plain. Oh, 
a little sweet, a little salty, not as lemony as I was thinking, so that's the score there. If you watched the last video for the UK, you know that we tried lamb and mint chips, and I just thought they were the weirdest tasting things. Like, at first you're like, oh, okay, this isn't that bad, but you try another another. It just was really unusual. So the smell almost reminds me of that a little bit after eating a couple. They're, they taste better to me, so I would choose these over lamb in it for sure. Next, we're gonna try the gummies. I'm really excited, I'm a gummy person, so I'm looking forward to this for sure. Oh, they're cute, they're like little strips, sugar-coated, pretty skinny, thin little guys. Smell a little citrusy, but not too bad. Like I said, I think these are lime. These are good. These are really good. You know, you get some things and they're really chewy, like licorice can be really, really chewy. You can tackle that, it's like really hard to chew. This is spot on. Thin. It's just right. It's so good, you guys. Alright, this next one I'm a little anxious about, not gonna lie. When I saw it and I took it out of the bag, I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that one. Um, I'm open to trying stuff, um, and I really, really like this, but this one, I don't know. This is the, the shrimp snack um, with salad cream flavor, so I don't know what that's supposed to taste like. Um, I'm not expecting to be terribly in love with it. It looks a little unusual to begin with, and it's wrapped in seaweed, and a lot of people aren't a fan of seaweed. I like sushi, but this almost reminds me of paper. It's really flaky and shiny. I don't know if that's the right word to describe it. It's just a little unusual. It smells kind of shrimpy. Not my favorite. Definitely shrimpy. I don't really like the texture either. It kind of crumbles. It reminds me of a pork rind, but pork rinds are really kind of crunchy for a while. This is not. Yeah. The seaweed is throwing me off a little bit because it's pretty um, dry and papery and it, when you chew it, it's just really unusual. I'm excited about this one. Thai coconut roll with natural banana. Yum! So, oh, these are interesting. They come in a little tray. And they're hollow. They're like little cookies. Kind of. They're like cookie rolls. Oh, like good, good banana flavor, like a really good, rich banana bread. This is just what it smells like when it smells up your whole house. You go to your grandma's house and she's making banana bread. Yum. It's just what this smells like. Oh! Probably crumply. I didn't think that was going to happen. It's good. Good banana flavor, sweet, crunchy. Not too crunchy, crumbly as you saw. <laughs> All right. We're gonna try the sticky rice next. Now I'm excited about this. The package talks about warming it up. So I stuck it in the microwave for 15 seconds, warmed it up, and we're gonna try it. I think I'm gonna like this one the best. Um, Cause I, I don't know, it just looks good. It's, it just seems so appealing. Smells good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mouthy, chewy, sweet. Oh yeah, this is a favorite. Mango, coconut, it's good, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Be right back, gotta finish this guy. On to the hard candies. We have a pineapple hard candy in the shape of a heart. Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Sweet. There's salt in it. I forgot about that. Not my favorite. I like the pineapple. I don't like the salt. So we have one piece left to try, and that's a banana chew. And thinking back on all the flavors, this box, I'm really liking this box a little bit better than the UK box. The UK box um, was a little bit 
more salty than this. Um, and they have a lot of sweet elements in a lot of different ways. You have chews, you have crisps, you have rice. Um, it's kind of neat. I, I like all the different versions of that. So definitely happy with this box so far. Banana chew. I was thinking it was going to be yellow. Banana E. Yep. Mm -hmm. Chewy but not as stubborn as the toffee from the last box. It was actually not bad. And a little less banana -y than than these guys. The coconut roll. Oddly more banana flavor and smell in these than the chews. So if you were to ask me my favorite of this box, um, I probably would go with this guy. My second favorite would be the gummies. I'm just a sucker for gummies, and they were just right. They were light, they weren't too hard to eat, they were sugary and not too tart. So here are our options for the next box. Portugal, Spain, and Croatia. I'm really curious about Croatia, so that'll be my vote. So we made it to the end of our tasting. I know where I wanna go next month. Where do you wanna go? What do you want to try? Are you a snack box person? Do you do snack boxes? Um, or have you done Universal Yums before? I'm so, so curious. So leave some comments in the box. What did you like about this video? What snacks would you try? What snacks wouldn't you try? I'm so curious. So till next time, take care. See ya.